My name is Nyani Shwiti Kurai, and this is the interview portion of my California North State University application. I'd like to begin with my response to the first question. One of the most important things that I've learned in high school is adaptation and self-improvement. The jump from middle school to high school was jarring. I wasn't able to organize myself or my time efficiently. In addition, the disparity of academic rigor between middle school and high school was something that I was not equipped to handle. This led to me neither performing as well as I could have academically, nor learning as much as I wanted to. But reaching that low point allowed me to bounce back through the development of organizational and effective study skills. I learned to prioritize my education and to allocate my time efficiently through planning ahead of time in order to achieve my goals. After getting my bearings in high school and figuring out how to survive, I was able not only to cling on, but to thrive and to pursue knowledge. Self-improvement was a big part of that thriving. I was surrounded by a wonderful community, community of teachers, friends, and family. What I know about an accelerated college experience is, no matter my stats, my test scores, the extracurriculars I've done, that jump is always going to be jarring. What I'm prepared with is that reality. What is most important, I believe, is how quickly I'm able to adapt. And I think that given how I struggled first semester, and my ability to adapt through that, I have some idea of what to do and I will be able to adapt quickly. I would now like to respond to the second question. I'm Secretary of Health Occupation Students of America or HOSA at my school. I joined HOSA a year before I became Secretary. I try to be active with the club, coming to meetings and other team events. When I became Secretary of HOSA, I vowed that I would improve the club in any way that I could get team members to be more engaged in it. After I became secretary, I wanted us to do new things, to have a lab skills day, to give presentations on health careers and pathways, and to help team members apply for opportunities in healthcare. We gauged the team members' interest through a Google form, and we received a positive response to the ideas suggested. Through collaborations with my fellow officers, I was in able to inspire change from the top. And we were able to allow these ideas to come to fruition. I began to notice that more people who had signed up began showing up to HOSA meetings and to our presentations. Thus, through HOSA, I was able to learn what it meant to inspire and lead people with fresh new ideas. I will now respond to the third question. The one person who has influenced me the most is my grandmother. Her tremendous work ethic and spirituality inspire me to be a better person every day. Throughout her life, my grandma has always prided herself on working hard regardless of circumstance. At one time, she even worked for 10 years consecutively without a single day off or a holiday. As a result, I strive to follow her example every day. While my struggles we never hold in comparison to hers, I hope to emulate her work ethic to achieve my goals. I'm also inspired by my grandma's spirituality. The two of us often have philosophical discussions seated around the dining table about religion and understanding the world around us. These conversations have helped me to grow, provided me with an inner strength, and helped me to develop my emotional intelligence. My grandma has taught me a great deal about myself and the world around me, and thus has defined who I am. I will now respond to question number eight. The bioethical implications of the medical profession are what intrigue me the most about it. The four tenets of medical ethics are autonomy, justice, beneficence, and non-maleficence. Autonomy is a patient's ability to make his or her own decisions. Justice is equal access of treatment to all segments of the population. Beneficence is a commitment to making decisions that improve patient well-being. And non-maleficence is to do no harm. These four principles, which are at the heart of medicine, intrigue me the most about the field. As patient care is the primary outcome of medicine, it is by definition the most humanist of the sciences. It forces us to ponder deeply not only about diseases and treatments, but also the effect that our decisions have on our patients because the consequences are so dire. Reflecting upon these difficult questions with which we are forced to face as a physician and following the four bioethical principles of autonomy, justice, beneficence, and non-maleficence is what intrigues me the most about medicine. Thank you for your time.